What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Wi-Fi battle I had. Uh, this is against Old Man Tup. He's a member of the GBA. He is a fantastic dude. He's really awesome. Really nice guy. Uh, I will leave a link to his Twitter and his channel down below. He posts all his GBA videos. He's honestly one of the nicest guys I think I've ever come in contact to over the internet. But uh, he was live streaming uh, like two days ago and he was having battles with his GBA team. And I was like, you know what? That's badass because I want to get in some practice with my Lithio team. In case you guys did not know what Lithio is, Lithio is like this uh, this place where you go and you have gym battles. I was posting my gym battles last uh, last season, and I'm challenging this season. I didn't want to be a gym leader, so I did not uh, try out for it. So this is uh, most of the team. I'm also I also have a Scizor, but this is the team that I'm rocking out with. It's doing really well. It's like five and zero right now, and uh, it, it's it's fan. It's a fantastic team. So uh, I didn't really know what he was going to bring to my battle, honestly, whatsoever, because even though I've watched his GBA teams, he has like four of them, so I didn't know which one he was going to bring. So I didn't really like prepare for anything. I just said, hey, I'm taking you six. So I'm bringing the, the Choice Spec Starmie. I'm bringing the Mega Audino. I'm also bringing the Excadrill with Sand, and then I'm bringing Chansey, and then uh, Choice Scarf Nido King. Now, uh, the Choice Specs and the Choice Scarf are going to come in real handy later on in the battle, so make sure you pay attention for that when it comes up. He's going to be bringing the Mammoth Swine, the Azumarill, the Hitmontop, the, the Salamence, the uh, Heatran, and the Mega Alakazam. So with that being said, let's hop right into it. And as you can see, first turn, I thought he was going to lead off with his either Mammoth Swine or his Hitmontop. So he does lead off with uh, Suck It John, aka Pokemon. So I just lead off with Jewel, and I was like, you know what, if you're Scarfed and you go for an EQ, so be it. But I'm going to go for a Skull. There's no need for me to overpredict. I did not think he was Scarfed, so I just went for a Choice Specs uh, Skull, and then I killed it right away. So that was really, that was a really, really good start. So now he's going to go into his Amiga, and this is his only thing to soak up a Skull. His only thing possible to soak up a Skull gets walled pretty well by a Zoom Roll, because I know he's not Choice Banked. I could, I could just tell by the makeup of his team that he would not be choice band of Zoom Rock. So he does go for the knockoff on my Hippo, and he does knock off the Smooth Rock. And that, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but you can't have duplicate items when you challenge the Lithia region. So, I mean, hey, I'm used to only having two leftovers with the LBA, so this is whatever. So he's just going to go for a Waterfall, and he flinches me, which really sucks, because I went for Stealth Rocks right there to try to get residual damage on stuff, but hey, it's whatever. Like, uh... Like trying to break a sash of Salamence when it comes in. Because he didn't, uh, he, his only rabbit spinner is hit on top, and I could put enough pressure on it to where it couldn't spin. So he does end up killing my Hippo really early on in the battle, which means Excadrill won't have a chance to actually like sweep the way I wanted it to. So I know that my best uh, plan of action right here is to go into Audino and Mega Evolve and start walling things to the point where I could get up Wishes and pass them off. So he's going to go into Gertrude, and like I said, the first thing I want to do is get up a Wish, so that whenever he hits me, it won't hurt me too much, because I'll just get my health right back up. So, uh, as I go for the Wish, I, I think in the point of the live stream, he said, okay, this is not good, let's see what this is going to do, and I was like, okay, I, I shouldn't be listening to this. So right then and there, I turned down the volume on my stream real quick, and I planned on watching it later on when he uh, loaded it up. So I, I kind of knew he was going to go for a Dragon Dance right here, which kind of was whatever, because I just went for a Calm Mind. So we're both kind of sort of setting up, and he needs to get to plus six to Okomi with an Iron Head or Iron Tail. So, or uh, it's either plus six or plus four. One of the two, but there was no way I was going to let him get that high. So, like, like you see right here, I get the Wish back way earlier than what I wanted, which really sucked. So right here he's going to go for the Iron Tail and he misses, which does suck, but at the same time it wouldn't have knocked me out, I would have still gone for the Dazzling Gleam, and I still would have knocked him out, including the Sand. So, so it, it, it really, really, really sucked for him not to have the residual damage, or not the residual damage, the big like chunk of damage off on my Audino, but you know, I mean, it's Pokemon. It really does suck. It really sucks that that happened. If he had gotten that chip damage off, I think it might have been a little bit different of a battle. So right here, 
Uh, I did not want to take a flash cannon, so I was like, uh, Chansey, come in and take a couple hits from me real quick. So, uh, a, lot of, a lot of you guys might be noticing that I have two really, 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 really fat things on my team that are notorious for stall. I don't run stall. Uh, this Chansey, I believe the only Chansey sets I run are Seismic Toss, Counter, uh, Aromatherapy, and Soft Boil. I don't run stall -y sets. I, I can't bring it to myself to make a game last that long. Like, this battle's already halfway over, and I have two walls like this, so... That just goes to show how little I want to do stall. So he's going to switch out of his Heatran because he realizes that he can't really win this battle. And he goes into Hitmontup. And I kind of sort of expected this. I don't want to say I full on predicted it. But I had a little inclination that he would switch out. So I just went straight out into my Jewel. I was like, if he goes for Fire Blast, Jewel can eat it up. If he goes into Hitmontup, I can still uh, just get off free. It's called. So now I was going to go into the Amiga, and I and I didn't want to go for Scald, because I knew he had this thing in the back, and I and I knew it would be a, too much of a free switch. So I just go for the Psy Shock. I knew it would be a clean two hit KO. I didn't know how much Scald would do, so I more or less was just like, "Hey, Scald, you're a safe play." And I think this is where he realized that this was Specs and not Scarf, because on the first turn he was like, "Okay, that's Scarf Start." So. So now he's going to go into his Mega Alakazam, and I just stay in here because I figured if he kills me with a Shadow Ball, I'll still get chip damage and Chansey can wall it to death and back later. And if he goes for a Focus Blast expecting Chansey, then I can live that and get off two Psy Shocks and have this thing almost be dead and then Choice Scarf, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Nino King can come in later. So he does go for the Focus Blast expecting the Chansey. And I was like, okay, that sucks, but it's not the end of the world, because Jewel is still alive. But, now he's going to go for a Dazzling Gleam, and he outsped me, and that's where he was like, oh, you're not Scarf. And I was like, yeah, I'm Specs. <laughs> so, Specs, uh, Specs Starmie really put in a lot of work. He's going to go for the Focus Blast right here and miss on my Soft Boiled, which really sucked for him. I mean, wow, that was... That was terrible for him. I felt really bad about that one. I, the hacks were kind of in my favor in this battle, but I don't know how much they mattered, but they still really, 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 really sucked, you know? So, right here, I'm going to go for a Seismic Toss. And, I mean, I just don't see why I shouldn't. I'm going to keep hitting this thing until it dies, and he can't kill me. But, you know, he was kind of like, okay, so I can't really touch this thing. I don't know what to do. Let me try to bluff it and put him on top back in. So when him on top comes in, <clears throat> pardon me, I was kind of like, well, I don't feel like staying here and stalling him the whole time. So I'm going to go into my driller. And uh, if you guys get that reference, that nickname, please let me know because I don't think anybody will. And I knew that driller could not take a close combat. So I was like, Larry, come in here and go and slurp it up real quick. Uh, that's a crit. Spoilers. That is a crit. Like, granted, there's still a lot of damage, so I think this thing had a little bit of attack investment, so who knows? But you know, to come in and soak up a hit like that, that's insane. I'm just gonna go back into John, and uh, I guess just set up my wish. And you know, I hate wish protecting, but you know, sometimes you have to to get your health back. It's a shame that you have to, but you know what? Sometimes you do. So, I decided not to right here, though. <laughs> I thought I protected right there, but I didn't. So, uh, I got an Aromeo for a couple reasons. If he fire blasts and kills me, awesome. I mean, he, I mean uh, that's not good, but he doesn't kill me, but he gets the burn. Thankfully, a wish activates before burn does. That's the only good thing about that entire turn. And now I have my Choice Scarf Nino King in here, ready to outspeed everything, and can two-hit KO even the Hitmon Cup. So, I'm gonna go for the Earth Power. Obviously, it's gonna take this thing out. I'm Nido King. Like Nido King gives, he, he cares very little about anything, if anything at all. So, now that I am burnt, though, it really sucks uh, to have it, um, like constantly going off on me. He is going to get the sheer force on the Mega Alexander, which really sucks. But like I said, I do outspeed. 
and uh, Earth Power will just take out the Mega Alakazam. And all he has left is the Hitmontop, and I am locked into Earth Power, so it's I think it's a, a two or three hit KO because Hitmontop has specially uh, has a lot of special bulk naturally. So right here, I'm going to go for the Earth Power, and uh, I get a crit. So that really sucked. But, judging by that damage, I think it would have been a solid 2-3 to three hit KO anyway, and that's all the amount of damage he could do to me because he wasn't packing Earthquake. So, I think if I hadn't gotten that crit, it wouldn't have changed much. It would have just changed the, uh, the, the, the death ratio of the battle. It would have made it from a 4-0 to like a 3-0, or a 3-0 to a 2-0. I forget how much it was. But, it was still... An amazingly good battle, and it really showed off uh, what I wanted it to with Chansey and Mega Audino. So, thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you go check out Old Man Tup. He's a fantastic dude. Really awesome, 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 awesome guy. Um, he will be having surgery pretty soon, so if you guys could hop over to his Twitter, say, Hey man, good luck with your surgery. I hope you get well soon from Radar. That would mean so much from all my... From all my subscribers, I would really appreciate it. Um, I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day. Look forward to my Lithia region battles coming in. I'll be facing the gym leaders hopefully starting today, Sunday uh, the 24th. Yep, Sunday the 24th. Also, the uh, LBA draft is coming up in about a week and a half to two weeks, I believe. So also look forward to that update video. Hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will see you guys later. Bye!